The days are getting longer, the temperatures are getting warmer, slowly but surely, so indications that barbecue season is, in fact, just around the corner. This year, though, it comes with a warning, and one we've talked about before, to beware of the metal bristles that are on many barbecue brushes. Uh, Ottawa is, um, if you will, turning up the heat on those brushes. Brett Ruskin is with me this morning, our grill master with some very important safety tips today. Good morning, Brett. And good morning, Heather. That's right. This issue has been on the back burner for some time when it comes to bristles and barbecue brushes. We're talking about these brushes right here with these uh, tiny metal bristles. Now Health Canada is stepping up. They are deciding to create a voluntary standard for the manufacturers of these barbecue brushes. Things like minimum manufacturing standards, uh, testing procedures, how these need to be built. Because the issue is that when you use your barbecue, and when you scrape away at that grill with these uh, bristles, they can actually come loose and come loose into your food. And that's what happened uh, to one Nova Scotian, Linda Wadden, uh, Lisa Wadden rather, and I spoke to her on the phone. Uh, here's what she had to say after she bit into a burger in 2014 and had one of these wire bristles lodged in her throat. If they were to get it, it would probably cause me great damage because of the amount of tissue they'd have to remove. Um, as, as soon as they make that incision, um, they lose it because the, the blood kind of kind of fills the space where it was. It's almost invisible for them to see it. It's like a needle in a haystack. So a needle in needle in a haystack in her throat and so uh, obviously uh, Health Canada doesn't want this to happen anymore. They counted nine incidents like this last year alone in Canada so they are taking steps now uh, to try to prevent it from happening to create this voluntary standard which should be in place within the next year or so. But we still have um this year ahead, Brett. So if there's not the standards in place, okay, open up that grill and give us some tips on what to you do in what the meantime. Do? I do, I do. Here's what to do. So take your brush. Okay. Take your brush, throw your brush away. Okay. Uh, <laughs> get your aluminum foil out. I have one of those, by the way. I am not going to use it anymore listening to you this morning. Okay. And this works just as well. Aluminum foil. foil ball. The wind is picking up here on this barbecue, beautiful barbecue day. And you just scratch away at the, uh, at the grill. Our CBC grill is disgusting, and this is working uh, really well to clean it up. <laughs> uh, and so there you go. Just as easy as the brushes, no risk of those bristles being ingested. That Heather. is very good. And your colleagues there at CBC Halifax are going to be appreciating that <laughs> effort on your part too. I am though, in terms of the information as are people watching. So thank you, Brett. We'll talk more later in, in the morning. Brett Ruskin in Halifax.